and welcome to my latest smartwatch review. This is the E400 smartwatch. Now I have reviewed another smartwatch before. This was a blood glucose monitoring watch. Uh, you can go check out that review on my playlist, the fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist. This particular watch I bought with my own money, this E400. It's a smartwatch with non-invasive glucose measurements. It uh, does EKG, ECG, ECG uh, SpO2, which is blood oxygen saturation. It will do continuous heart rate, heart rate variability, do your body temperature, blood pressure, and it is IP168 waterproof. Now, I'm really getting into this uh, non-invasive glucose monitoring technology, and I'm just opening up the box here so you can see what comes with it. It's a smartwatch uh, user manual. It's the guide. It looks fairly well illustrated and whatnot. So, um, hey, I'm interested in the glucose technology. This watch caught my eye. There was some chatter online about it. I think this uh, was also sold under the Cardiac brand name there for a while. If you've never seen any of my reviews before, well, first of all, that's a shame. Um, subscribe to this channel and uh, you can check them all out. I have a special interest in this technology. Uh, but you can go to that fitness tracker and smartwatch review uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. I'm going to charge this guy up, wear it for several days, and it's got some juice in the box here. I like the looks of it. It's a nice clean look, nice clean bezel, two buttons, can change watch faces. Um, I'm going to go wear this for a few days, put it through all of its paces, and then come back with my full, fair, honest review. Always remember uh, with the diodes and electrodes on these guys, they usually put a protective covering on them. Make sure you peel that off before you try to use the smartwatch. You'd be surprised how many people say the watch doesn't work great and they forgot to peel that piece of paper off. Now we're forming a consensus here that we think the blood glucose monitoring happens between these two electrodes, that it looks somehow at uh, some levels in your, your sweat or, or your perspiration. Not sure yet, but uh, that's sort of the leading thinking online because nobody's really done a great job of explaining this technology yet. So there you go, the E400 smartwatch. Uh, I'll come back and give you my full, fair, and honest review. So let's take a look at this watch. First of all, it is a beautiful looking device, I believe. Not too big of a bezel, it's pretty sleek for the size it is. The screen size is decent. You have your main screen here. If you swipe down, you can get into your settings, um, system settings and whatnot. If we go back to the beginning here, we can adjust the brightness. I usually put it all the way down to save battery, but for the purposes of this video, I'll put it all the way up. So you have your watch face here. Um, I found one that, that I like better. This is the one you see in all the promotional photos and, and catalogs online. Uh, the one I found in there that I like the best is this one. I like that time to be nice and big, but you also get your step count, uh, kilocalorie burn, and heart rate in there too. And then from there, this is just a little progress bar to show you, you know, what your what your steps are, calorie burn, and uh, heart rate. Here is your sleep, and uh, here is your. Uh, heart rate and beats per minute. This you can do on demand or set it to, to record at various intervals. Blood pressure, this is pretty good. Uh, this is believable to me. Um, I'm a little bit high today, but um, you know, it, otherwise it seems pretty reasonable. Blood oxygen saturation does a very good job with this. It uses the red diode in this case. All right, we swipe again, you get your blood glucose measurement. I find this to be, it, it tracks, okay? This is the second blood glucose watch I've reviewed now, and do I believe the absolute numbers are correct? I don't think so, I think they're a little bit low, but for me, the interesting part is to know what your baseline is, and this does respond when I eat meals, I see the blood glu glucose levels go up and then come back down. So I think if you just want to use it for that purpose, um, as a reference to what, what your lines usually look like, it's good. Uh, I would say for a non-invasive blood glucose monitor, it's, it's reasonable. Um, 
Here's an ECG EKG to make this measurement. Really, you need the app, but you press your finger on the electrode, and believe it or not, there are electrodes on the bottom of the watch, and it measures that current that goes through your left arm, through your heart, to your right arm, and then you complete the circuit by touching this electrode. Uh, these are good. I like them. It will flag if everything's normal or if something seems uh, you know, out of the ordinary for like AFib or whatnot. Here's body temperature. Now this is also an interesting measurement. It actually does your body, your skin temperature and then calculates a body temperature. Again, pretty darn close. Um, I, I think it's, it's reasonable, but it, it's good enough to know whether uh, you're, you're getting a fever, running a fever. It will pull, it can pull in the, uh, the weather from your watch when you pair with Bluetooth and then you're back to the beginning here. Now notice what you don't see. You do not see any exercise modes in here. Um, I, I'm not so thrilled about that. As if you swipe up, you get your messages, of course. They pull through through Bluetooth. Um, I like being able to tap into the sports modes on the watch, start an exercise and record it, but with this watch you can't do that. You need to be paired with your phone, so keep that in mind. That said, when I do exercises in the gym with a smartwatch, I find I rarely ever go back and look at that data or use it in any meaningful way. So, you know, I question without GPS in a watch, what good is actually measuring the amount of time and estimate a calorie burn of a workout. I, I don't see much use in it. So maybe maybe that's the way this company thought too and they're like, you know what, if somebody really wants that, they can use the app, use the phone, start their exercise that way. Let's go look at the app. So now we're in the app. The app is called H-Band. I've reviewed this app several times before with various smartwatches. If you missed that, um, go check out my playlist of smartwatch and fitness tracker reviews. You see I'm paired with the E400. To sync with the watch, you simply swipe down and it will read the data. And I just sync this so there's not much data to bring in here. But you get your step count for the day. You can look at previous days. You can go back through the days and see your steps over the days. Here's the sleep and you can go back over time. It gives you your amount of deep sleep versus light sleep, REM sleep, all good stuff to track health. Here's your heart rate mode, continuous heart rate mode. You see my max of 106, my minimum of 55. Um, this all seems pretty reasonable to me. You can go into the heart rate details and uh, you know check out your exercise volume. You can set a heart rate alert. So if your heart rate goes above a certain point, it will vibrate and give you a little warning. Um, ECG, uh, I showed you this on the watch. Just trust me, it works. It works well, and it uh, you can it will flag. Let's go back to a previous uh, day's reading here. You get your your heart rate zone, your QT interval, and your heart rate variability. Here, this ECG uh, sinus rhythm showed no abnormal phenomena. If it did, it would say you know signs of AFib or whatever it is. Uh, blood oxygen saturation. I have this sampling. I think every 30 minutes and uh, it gives you your blood oxygen concentration again if you have a respiratory disease or illness that number will drop you want it to be like 96 97 or higher it will give you your respiratory rate your hypoxia time while sleeping cardiac load um, hypoxia and arousal I have that turned on so if I suffer a, a hypoxia event while I'm sleeping, the watch will vibrate and wake me up. That's just when you don't, when essentially you stop breathing for a period of time. Um, that can be somewhat normal, but you know, if it becomes a problem, you, you want to go see a doctor. Here's your heart rate variability. Again, a good indication of your, your heart health. You want that variability to be really high because when you're under a lot of stress, your heartbeats become more regular and that time decreases. So you, you want variability in your heart rate. That means you're relaxed. <clears throat> Here's your Lorenz scatter diagram. Some uh, samples of you know the different shapes of that uh, diagram and, and what it might indicate, okay? All very useful stuff. Here's your blood pressure. It does these automatically or on demand. It gives you your highest and your lowest. Um, very, very useful stuff. Here's your body temperature and here's your blood glucose level, okay? And I like this a lot. I find it to be 
pretty compelling in terms of how it reacts versus what I eat. And let's see, yesterday it says I had a minimum of 3.3 millimoles per liter and a maximum of 6.89. You can see the trace of, you know, when I ate meals. Um, I, I like it. I, I like it a lot. And I would say if you're looking for a health watch, this one is a pretty good deal. So my bottom line with this watch is if you're looking for a health monitoring watch, that does non-invasive uh, blood glucose measurements, EKGs, uh, blood oxygen saturation, looks at your heart rate, heart rate variability, body temperature, and blood pressure in an IP68 rated case. And I think this is a really good de uh, value. You can find it online for around $40, definitely under $50. Um, if you're looking for something to track your exercise, I would say this is probably a no-go since you can't control those right from the watch. You have to use it when paired with the app. So that's my bottom line on the E400. I love doing these smartwatch reviews. This is all to help support this channel and build this channel to support my kayak building business. So uh, if you give a like or leave a comment or share this, um, that all helps me out, helps spread the word, and uh, helps me to go out and buy these things and bring you new smartwatch reviews. I think this is uh, review number 69 or 70. A lot of these I pay for with my own money, so I'm completely third-party unbiased, and I can only do that if uh, you know, you're know you watching these videos on YouTube and I build a little ad revenue there and what I do is invest that right back into the channel. So okay, until next time, be healthy and uh, Happy New Year. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak, made in the finest American tradition. Or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.